Hi everyone, my name is Annie Walters and today I am doing Reflection 6 over Justice, Chapter 6 uh, with John Rawls. This is the case for equality. Um, our discussion topic was how would you have government intervene on behalf of economic inequality? And um, John Rawls kind of was an interesting chapter to read, um, I thought, because there was a lot of push-pull for a positive and negative um, kind of figuring out what would work and what wouldn't. Um, basically, what he talks about is the original position argument or kind of hiding behind the veil of ignorance, so to speak. Um, so whenever we go to vote on something, usually our biases um, are very much in our vote. Uh, we want what we want to win. And um, we're all kind of asked the question, well, how can we have something that is equal for everyone? So there's not an equal inequality. And um, so he basically wants to know how we would do that. So he, quote unquote, puts a veil over our head. So we wouldn't see who, would, who was sitting next to us. And maybe it would create something that would be a little bit more fair because we wouldn't know, you know, the person next to us. We wouldn't know their wealth. We wouldn't know their economic standard, their religious view or anything like that. And so um, he brings different societal ideas, so to speak, um, to the table asking, well, how would this idea, um, how would it help us or hurt us? Um, is it, are we in favor for it or not, basically? And um, how would it help us as an individual keep a equal position, so to speak. Um, so the first one he brings up is utilitarianism, and he immediately rejects that because he doesn't think that the people would like that because um, the majority of something would win, and that's not really fair for individual rights. Um, the next one is feudalism, the kings and queens aspects. So kings are always going to be born into royalty, and um, that makes them automatically a king or a queen. And versus the peasants who are born maybe more in poverty and they don't um, really have the ability to be a king or queen, um, it's possible for them to work up um, to become maybe somebody that's of importance, but it's harder. There's, and um, because of that, um, they rejected that because there's no social mobility in there. Um, the next one is libertarianism. Um, and there's social mobility a little bit in it, but they don't know if the person that's going to be in charge is going to be a rich person or someone who might be living in a barn. Um, the ability to work up is guaranteed, not guaranteed. Um, it's difficult, and also it, the stakes are too high, so uh, he rejects that one. Uh, the next one is strict egalitarianism, and basically um, with this one, I didn't really like this one. Um, everybody no matter what kind of contribution you put towards something, everybody gets the same thing. So even if you work twice as hard as somebody else, you're still getting um, paid the same as somebody else would that sat down the whole time and didn't do anything. And um, that's definitely an inequality. Um, in my eyes, it's probably one of the most um, societal problems that, that we would have. Um, so Raul kind of brings up his idea, well, what if we had the... Um, Rawlson egalitarianism view or the property owning democracy um, and he obviously he, he favors that because it's his idea and um, so he has two principles the liberty principle and the equal opportunity principle um, basically the liberty everyone gets their rights and the equal opportunity there's no discrimination everybody kind of starts out on ground zero and um the second part of the equal opportunity is the difference principle where um, inequalities in wealth and income are justifiable only uh, when they work to the benefit of the least well-off. And um, if I had to answer how would you have the government intervene on behalf of economic inequality, I guess I would pick this one because um, out of all of them that I've heard, it's the most... I guess it works the best for um, individual rights, if that's how you're looking at it. Um, of course, there's problems with all of them, but I think that this one may have the least problematic um, whenever you're looking at individual rights, not as everyone as a whole. Um, so I guess I would pick this one. Um, I don't really like any of them, but um, with our discussion topic, obviously we had to pick one. So I guess that this is how I would choose the government to um, intervene to maybe be maybe help um, lessen the inequality. So.